Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends in this very exciting and challenging video on radical algebra. Here we have to evaluate fifth root of 41 plus 58 over root 2. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to x. Now I will begin with rationalization of 58 over root 2. So I will multiply here with root 2 and root 2 in the numerator and denominator. Now denominator will be 2. So we can cancel 58 and denominator 2. So we will be writing x is equal to fifth root of 41 plus 29 root. Now raise both sides power 5. So here I will be writing 5. This side also I will be writing 5. Now fifth root and power 5 will be over. So I can write x power 5, it will be equal to 41 plus 29 root 2. From here we can write two points. Right hand side it is obviously positive. So I will be writing here x power 5 will be positive. And it is not only positive, this number is greater than 1 also. So I will be writing x value, it must be greater than 1. See this is x power n. If it is greater than 1, then we can write x should be greater than 1, where n is greater than 1. Now I will consider y power 5. It will be equal to 41 minus 29 root. Now these two equations I will consider and I will add both. So x power 5 plus y power 5, it will be equal to 41 plus 41, 82. Now let us multiply both. So I will be writing here, x power 5 times y power 5. This value will be equal to 41 plus 29 root 2 times 41 minus 29 root 2. Now a plus b a minus b. We can apply difference of two squares identity. 41 square minus 29 root 2 whole square. Now 41 is square if I will write then it is 1681. And 29 root 2 whole square is 1682. So this value will be negative 1. So I can write xy whole power 5. It will be equal to negative 1. Which further we can write minus 1 raised to the power 5. So I will be considering here the fifth root. I will write xy is equal to negative 1. And our first summation equation x power 5 plus y power 5 was. 82. So from this equation xy equal to negative 1, I can write y will be equal to minus 1 over x. Let us apply this value here. So I will be writing x power 5 plus minus 1 over x whole power 5 equal to 82. Or I can write x power 5 minus 1 over x power 5. It is equal to 82. Now from this equation, we have to calculate x. Let me write here. x power 5 minus 1 over x power 5 equal to 82. Now let us use substitution. I will write x minus 1 over x equal to a. Now condition on a will be as x was greater than 1, then 1 over x will be less than 1. So x minus 1 over x will be always greater than 0. So I will write a should be greater than 0. Now I will consider squaring of this. So x minus 1 over x whole square equal to 
a whole square. Let's apply a minus b whole square formula. So a square, which will be x square plus b square, it will be 1 over x square minus 2 x times 1 over x. So that will be cancelled out equal to a square. So x square plus 1 over x square, this is equal to a square plus 2. Now I will consider cubing of the same equation x minus 1 over x whole cube it will be equal to a whole cube. Now a minus b whole cube formula. So I will write x minus 1 over x whole cube equal to a cube. Let's apply formula a cube it is x cube minus b cube it is 1 over x cube minus 3ab so x times 1 over x in bracket a minus b equal to a cube now this term will be cancelled out and here we will write this is a so x cube minus 1 over x cube minus 3a equal to a cube add 3a to both sides I will get x cube minus 1 over x cube. It will be equal to a cube plus 3a. Now I will multiply both the equations. So I will be writing here x square. Let me write x square plus 1 over x square times x cube minus 1 over x cube. This will be equal to a square plus 2 times a cube plus 3a. Let us multiply. So left hand side x square times x cube x power 5. 1 over x square times minus 1 over x cube minus 1 over x power 5. Now cross multiplication 1 over x square times x cube. So it will be x x square times minus 1 over x cube. It will be minus 1 over x equal to a square times a cube a power 5 3a cube plus 2a cube 5a cube 2 times 3a 6a. Now this value we knows that it is 82 this value we know it is a so left hand side is 82 plus a and right hand side is a power 5 plus 5 a cube plus 6 a let me write i will write 82 plus a and rhs was a power 5 plus 5 a cube plus 6 a Take all the terms to RHS. A power 5 plus 5a cube plus 5a minus 82 equal to 0. Now this is one quintic equation, degree 5 equation. We can use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So I will find out eligible factors of 82 which will be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 41, plus minus 82. Now, if you will see the leading coefficient, it is plus minus 1 only. Now, I will plug in a equal to 1. Will it satisfy 1 plus 5 plus 5 minus 82? No, it is not. So, we will cancel this a equal to 2 suppose so 2 power 5 is 32 2 cube is 8 times 5 40 2 times 5 10 minus 82 so yes 72 plus 10 82 minus 82 so it is satisfying that means a equal to 2 is our base solution now i will use synthetic division method so i need to write all the coefficients of quintic equation so coefficient of a power 5 1 
coefficient of a power 4 it is not available so 0 coefficient of a cube 5 coefficient of a square it is not there so 0 coefficient of a it is 5 constant it is minus 82 now leading coefficient i will write as it is 1 2 times now we have to multiply with this 2 2 times 1 2 addition of 0 and 2 2 2 times 2 is 4 addition is 9 2 times 9 is 18 addition is 18 2 times 18 is 36 addition is 41 2 times 41 is 82 addition is 0 now we are having coefficients of quartic equation so let me write a power 4 plus 2a cube plus 9a square plus 18a plus 41 equal to 0. So you can see all the coefficients of this equation is positive. Conclusion is the value, the real value of a which will satisfy this quartic equation, it will be a negative. And condition on a is a should be greater than 0. Let me explain. So we will reject this quartic equation for our solution. Condition on a was a should be greater than 0 as a was x minus 1 over x. This was our a. 1 x is greater than 1. That means 1 over x should be less than 1. So this difference will be always positive that's why a positive so a is equal to 2 will be the only real solution which we will accept now a was our substitution so i will be writing here x minus 1 over x equal to 2 now i will take lcm x square minus 1 equal to 2x x square minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square so 4 minus 4ac so plus 4 again divided by 2 so i can write 2 plus minus square root 8 so 2 root 2 divided by 2 so two solutions we are having from here 1 plus root 2 and 1 minus root. Now we can easily eliminate 1 minus root 2 as it is generating negative value. So we will accept only this solution. So our fifth root of x, so I will be writing here x is equal to root 2 plus 1. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.